All right, first alert weather day is coming to a close. A lot of hail reports, headache hail across the region, and we have cooled off significantly heading into our overnight hours. Yesterday at this time, 24 hours ago, we were about 25 degrees colder right here in the valley. That's the area that's seen the biggest change in temperatures. If you remember last night, it was sticky, it was humid, and temperatures reached 90 degrees in Fargo, and this is a look at those heat indexes as of yesterday. They were triple digits in Fargo, 93 the heat index in Grand Forks, and those heat indices, on, they've gone the way of our temperatures, way down into the 50s. Here's a look at those current readings right now on thermometers elsewhere across the valley, 58 Bemidji, 61 Forozo, 54 in Langdon and in Cavalier. Jamestown, 60 degrees for you and 57 in Lakes Country for both Detroit Lakes and for Fergus Falls. Here's what's left of our thunderstorm showers wrapping through the arrowhead of Minnesota down through the Great Lakes and all the way out and into Wisconsin. Now active weather, numerous tornadoes on the ground, including three of them, as you heard here. Uh, in Grant County. Now look at this Rochester still seeing storms. These are all exiting off to the east, leaving us with quieter conditions for the overnight. And again, another look at temperatures showing conditions are cooling nice and it's drying out as well. Dew points yesterday were in the mid 70s. That's that sticky air you can wear. We have dew points now heading toward the 40s. Your hour by hour forecast shows what's left of the rain is out of here, clearing skies overnight. And I can't rule out some patchy, very dense, very dense areas of fog with all of this rain that's on the ground that's added moisture to near the surface areas. And we could see some uh, thick fog to start our Saturday. Temperatures near 55. We could see some upper 40s in a couple locations. Morning hours, plentiful sunshine out there, beautiful conditions, and a few clouds developing through the day. Our wind will be northwesterly. That's going to be refreshing. It's going to continue that cooler pool of air in our area. And in the afternoon, I cannot rule out spotty showers or rumbles of thunder working through the northern valley from, say, the uh, Walhalla area through Cavalier and into northwest Minnesota as we go through the late afternoon and early evening. Doesn't look severe at this point, but we could have a couple of thunderstorms working their way through. The rest of us stay quiet with a few clouds and temperatures will be cooler than we've had the last couple of days. In fact, we start out at 55 here in Fargo. Watch out for that morning fog rising up into the mid to upper 60s by late morning, and we'll see upper 70s for our afternoon. And again, a few clouds building in. Our wind will either be westerly or northwesterly, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Very pleasant to get out there and mow your lawn or just enjoy a little bit of quiet time as we will see that for most areas. Again, we'll have slightly cooler weather in northwest Minnesota. Lake of the Woods, probably close to 70 degrees for your area and for War Road, thanks to some passing thunder showers in your area. Down in Lakes Country, if you're heading down there, mid to upper 70s expected and 75 to 80 for the rest of us as we enjoy a summer-like day with a few clouds. And here is Shelfie McShelferson rolling into Big Cormorant Lake. That was a mean scene there captured by Allison. It looks a lot quieter now as we head through the next few days. Sunday, closing off your weekend at 79 degrees. All in all, just absolutely gorgeous. And it's going to be a while before we have our next significant chance of rain once we get through those sprinkles in the north on Saturday. Monday and Tuesday, we stay in the 70s. I think we'll see some lows in the morning. That'll be very close to those low 40s and upper 30s in a couple spots. We do warm things back up just slowly and gradually through the week. Notice this, another highlight of Hutch's forecast. No first alert weather days. None of these are red, and that's something I hope you're looking forward to. I know I am. Oh, yeah, I think it's solid night's sleep for several days in a row, not being woken up. I think that sounds good. <laughs> it does. Thanks, Hutch.